All right, this is really exciting. This stuff is from AEM. It's the only engine management system we've used for many of years. The best product I've ever used by far. We got their Infinity computer, the ECU. As far as I'm concerned, probably the best on the market. Countless boxes here. The sensors galore, wiring harnesses, EGTs, all that stuff. It's so helpful on the engine management side to be able to have a car that's gonna drive and, and run well both on the street and on the track is uh, it's a must have. So really excited to have this product on the car and really excited that they are helping us out with it. Thanks AEM, appreciate it. All right, are you ready Scott? Scooter? All right, so I took, this is the masking. It just peels right off. And I'm gonna do the same on the bottom. I'm not really sure how that masking is gonna hold up to the heat. So we're gonna actually try it a few different ways. Now you can see the polycarbonate, it's just nice and clear, no scratches. That's how you know it's new and there's no scratches in it. Stuff scratches so easy. All right, so I'm just gonna take this heat gun and kind of let gravity do its thing. Now there is an exact temperature you want to reach for this stuff. You know, obviously this is not like a controlled environment. Too hot or you force it too much, it starts getting cloudy. Brennan, is that bending up right now? In fact, it is, yep. Okay. You can just see it going down. Gravity in this case uh, actually is not working. Ideally, like two heat guns would be better, one on the top, one on the bottom. I guess would be the next test. And we might actually make a little mold, a buck, for the Lexon to sit in. Uh, the actual piece that goes on the car. So you can see it's, it, it is moving. I'm a little hesitant to touch that. So I think what we need to do is actually get two heat guns. All right. <laughs> All right, so I need to pick up another heat gun. Yeah. Get the old toaster oven out. TGIF, huh? <laughs> But it did work, and it didn't discolor at all. I think that's what we'll probably do. So the windshield on this car is a little bit tricky. Because we chopped the roof, the old windshield wouldn't work. And we weren't going to use glass anyways. So we had to figure out how we could use a polycarbonate windshield and still get the same look we're going for. One big thing is this curve right here. It might be a little bit hard to see on camera, but it's, it's real prominent. And then on top of it, we have this side curve. We kind of had two choices. Either we could make a windshield out of like aluminum as a mold and then form the polycarbonate over that, or we could use the old glass as a mold and hopefully it would work. The problem with that is for one, it's not the same shape anymore because the roof is in a different location. The eight pillars are slightly different. Two, so you either got to use the inside or the outside of the windshield. So it's either going to be too big or too small. First thing we did is we tried to use the inside as the mold. And the top was awesome, the bottom was awesome, but we came up short here. They said they probably could have gave us maybe another quarter inch, but we were short almost inch and a half. So we had to make a new polycarbonate windshield off of the outside of the glass. That just showed up. We're going to take it out of the box, see how it looks. All right, so when we do cut this, it's going to be like super spring loaded. So this is the one that they made from the outside of the glass. Uh, so we're just going to kind of compare it here. A lot of extra material, which is great. It definitely has a different shape to this it. This edge was deformed a little bit too. Was it? Yeah. So that's the next plan. We're going to find our reference marks, lay them up, get them lined up, and then start trimming them down so we can start fitting this piece. Yeah. Do you have film in the camera? What? Do you have film? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I have film. No, I don't. Totally, I don't have film. Did you take the lens cover off? 
Ready to be a YouTube star. Shake it out. Shake it out. Get ready. All right. So we're going to form this piece of polycarbonate to the shape of the rear side glass. You can see it doesn't have a lot of shape to it, maybe an inch and a half, but it does make a difference. And if we don't do this, you're gonna really see it when you, when you force the Lexon onto the car, it's gonna start to pucker on you over time as the sun hits it and stuff. So it's really good if you can shape it now uh, we didn't want to send this out to a manufacturer and have them do it just because the cost and time frame. So we're going to do it ourselves. We've actually never done it before. <laughs> We've actually never done it before. So it's a little bit unsure if it's going to work or not. The heat range is really critical on this. Not too hot, not too cold. You need just like that perfect temperature where it'll, it'll start to kind of like form into the shape and then you gotta get out of the heat right away and let it cool. Otherwise it'll, it'll discolor or it'll start bubbling or just other weird stuff. So we're gonna just kind of use these heat guns. Pew, pew, pew. Pew, 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 pew. We did a couple of practice pieces. They turned out just okay. And we kind of got an idea of the heat range, which is different than the research I did for what it needed the heat range to be. This is just starting to get warm. It seems like it takes a little bit of time for this thing to get the heat in it. But once it does, bam, you gotta be there. You gotta work it and then cool it off. So it's a little bit of standing around, just getting ready, watching the heat. And then it just, it all happens at once. I found that if you just heat it up, it doesn't lay where you want it to go. And a lot of people are using like vacuum and stuff to actually create the shape. So we're just using like really low pressure clothesline hangers to help it go into place and create that shape. All right, so we're getting like 260 there, Brennan. A little bit in here, Brennan. It's looking really good though. We go. Yeah, I can see it just starting to go now. Here, it's just, it's I, I got an inch gap over here okay. still. I am, I'm touching. It's really hard to have my thumb here. Yeah. <laughs> work, work this area so I can put these clothes hangers on. Ouch, that's hot. All right. My hand. It's like really hot and stuff. Uh huh. Believe it or not. Remember when Paris Hilton had the that's hot phase? <laughs> no, I don't remember that. That's hot. <laughs> she had a shirt that said that's hot, and then you're not on the back, but she used the wrong your. I guess we'll just let it cool now for probably a half hour, and then we'll peel back the masking see how it looks you know that's what happens when you do things for the first time and you're nervous you just you just try it you, you never know but I have a good feeling about it I think it's gonna turn out good you know an alarming number of people have been calling me scooter in the last few months and it's really starting really? to lie ah, that's great it's getting on my It's the perfect name. I like it's it. the perfect name. It is not. It it's is. Not. Look, you're even wearing a scooter shirt. It's not scooter. Yeah. That's, a, that's, a that's what motorcycles name. are called, scooters. Just, no, this is an Indian motorcycle, okay? This is motorcycles are called scooters. There's a mouse on it. 